this is the Clog Frog 7.5 from Deadly Fishing Tackle. This is the Deadly Lures product. Uh, this lure has quite a heavy double hook on there and the reason for that is to give it a keel so it stops it um, spinning while it's being retrieved. It's a surface and a subsurface lure and it, it casts extremely well and with this uh, bridled wire system it's, um, it's going to catch fish after fish. So a lot tougher than using a worm hook. It is quite a, a you know, tough soft plastic but also quite flexible at the same time. These broad feet create a nice kicking action, so it casts really well. It's had two modifications. One is the uh, heat shrink has been remo removed from the um, hook, so it freely swings now. And also the tube weed guards, those red weed guards have been removed because they're designed for snakehead and uh, not suitable for our implosion feeders like cod and Australian bass. So you can see the action there as it goes along like that or you can fish it in a sinking fashion as a lift and drop style style uh, retrieve and to do that just cast it out and just jerk it and wind up the slack jerk it wind up the slack it sinks at about 10 centimeters a second this 7.5 so it just a nice gliding action, it'll actually just work great through the weeds and you can bring it back up on top, burn it across the top again, like that, and then drop it, jerk it, jerk it, like that. See that action there, looks like a little frog going through the weeds. So this is the Clog Frog 7.5. The only modifications I've done is I've removed the tube weed guards which aren't effective for bass because they inhale, likewise cod, and then uh, and also just removed the um, heat shrink securing the hook to the uh, wire, so it's really swinging now so it improves the hook up rate. So that's subsurface, and then on the surface, let's do that again. First blood on the clog, clog frog. There you have it. You just uh, hammered it off the surface. Two strikes, took it, and then I just set the hook as the um, fish dive down with it. So there you have it. Nice little bass on the uh, Deadly Lewis clog frog. This is a clog frog and the trick with using this lure is to set the hook after the fish bites down on the lure. So it does take a bit of practice the weight on, feeling the weight on the end of the line but they do like it. So it's uh, put with weight guards but they are it's not very effective at hooking the fish. So clog frog testing. This is the uh, 75 millimeter version. And, uh, you can see it there. This is the sort of habitat that I fish with. Skip it right in there. Burn it across the top. And also just twitch it. Okay, so here's a tiny little bass, the barometer is pretty low now so they're not as aggressive on the surface but just to illustrate a point 
I threw the uh, lure into that shady area there, wound it across the top, it gurgled along. Then I let it sink when I saw a fish come up and hit it. And this fish hit it another three times and I just set the hook as it turned away. I actually saw the fish um, right right next to the kayak and uh, let it turn with the lure and then set the hooks in. So I've just detached the, uh, or we'll cut off the heat shrink and detached the hook so it truly. Another bass that took it right by the canoe after hitting it several times. Just smacked it. So it hooked it on the outside of the mouth. Still so first bass of the trip. And casting the clog frog in under the um bottle brush trees over here. Oh my god, don't they fight? Beautiful. Look at that fish. So just casting in, skimming the lure in under the bottle brush trees. That's one for the clog frog. That's a good 300 fork or so. Nice fish. So another big strike on the clog frog. It's actually absolutely wild. Yeah, man.